Good morning, children. Welcome to today's class. Now we have seen the half part of the story. Who is lazy? And that rabbit is asking me, right? So why is asking? Only there is a belief that rabbits are very lazy. If we provide them a ready-made food, they will be the happiest creature in the world, right? So here, now what we understood in the half part of the story? Yes, rabbit, the raw rabbit, rabbit name is Raj. He know all the animals because he used to go to the wandering trips without having a plan. So all the animals, they did not know each other as they were staying in far away from each other. So here, rabbit, while going one of, in the, one of his wandering trips, he found one full packet of corn, seed. Okay, so that seed has to be planted. So what he thought? He went to the elephant and said, this corn is to be planted. So if you clear the ground, then we can do the sowing. Right? Next, we will spread the seeds and we will water it and the plants will rise. Right? So then what elephant did? Elephant agreed for it. Then, with his long drawn dust, he cleared all the ground. Then, what the rabbit said? If you clear the ground, I will burn the timber. I will burn the wood. Then, he went to the giraffe. He said, I have already cleared the ground. Then, now it's your turn. You have to do the sowing. You have to spread the seeds so that we can. Yes? No, he said. We will, we, I have to, I have already cleared the ground, you have to burn the timber, okay? Then we will do, I will do the sewing. So, for the sewing, again he had a plan to go to the elephant. Now what he talks with the elephant, we will see in today's class, okay? See how cleverly the rabbit is playing a game with elephant and giraffe, right? Now all of you open your textbook, page number 20, okay, page number 20. So before that, note down your homework, you have to read the lesson and, and write script writing, script writing. Page number 6 and 7. Okay? See, children, anyhow, this lesson is not going to be come in your FML examination. We are just continuing the class and in our next class, we will do the revision for the FML examination. Okay? Now, all of you open the next book. We will continue the reading and the script writing. We have to write this. The sand is brown as is gray. Right? The sand is brown as is gray. And the next page, the leaves are green, pigs grunt. Okay? Put the date at the corner 14th of September 2021. Okay? For the both the pages. Now, all of you open the textbook. We will do the reading. Have you opened the textbook? Let us continue the reading. So here, after elephant, the raw the rabbit came to the zebra and said, you have to burn all the timber. Timber means wood. Right? Rainy season. Rainy season is not too far away. The giraffe re readily Agreed. Means he said, okay, I will burn the timbers. She burned off all the fallen timbers. As elephant, he pushed down all the trees. So, all the fallen timber, Ziraf burned them. 
wondering how little Ralph could manage to flatten so many trees single-handedly. Single-handedly means not taking help from others, right? So the giraffe, she was very confused. She was shocked. She was wondered that a small little Ralph, how he could manage to flatten so many trees single-handedly. The rains come and the ground was ready to sowing. Sowing means spreading sheets, right? Spreading seeds on the ground. I do the hoeing. So here what that rabbit did? Rabbit went to the elephant again and said, if you do some sowing, I'll do the Hoeing means sowing means spreading seeds on the ground and hoeing means loosen the earth around the plants with a long handle. This was easier than the pushing down the trees. So elephant did that happily. Ho hoeing it is it was yes the sowing it was easy to elephant easier than the pushing down the trees. So elephant agreed for that. Then Ralph went to Ziraf and said, I have done the sowing. Now it's your turn to do the hoeing. Giraffe did that without complaining. See children here how cleverly that rabbit is taking work from these two animals. Right? Kept a close watch as the corn grew nice and tall. See children, the rough rabbit, he kept a close watch. Kept a close watch means, yes, open the notebooks of new words and you have to read that. So keep a close watch means carefully, you have to pay the attention on the situation or a thing. He kept a close watch as the corn grew nice and tall. When the golden cobs begin to glisten in the sun. Glisten means shine with a sparkling light. And cobs means the part of a maze where the grains are attached. He went to elephant and said, The corn is now ready. If you rip it, I will gather it. But be careful. There is another oil mill. There is another animal called Giraffe who loves to rip corn. She may steal it. So Elephant kept a watch for the Giraffe as he went about the ripping the corn with his long tusk. Long tusk means pointed teeth. But of the Giraffe he saw neither the neck nor the nose. So he, as the rabbit alerted him that there is another animal called giraffe, she may come and steal the corn. So better you be careful. By warning this, the Ralph went from there. With his long stirs, elephant, he ripped all the corn. Then rabbit went to giraffe and said, I have ripped all the corn and now I am tired. It needs to be gathered but keep a looking lookout for the elephant. He is sure to steal the corpse. He loves corn so much. See here he told to the elephant to be careful from the giraffe and here he is again warning the giraffe to be careful from the elephant so that the corn should not be steel. So, Ziraf set about gathering the cobs and piled them into a huge stacks. As I said you, we will arrange the corns in a stacks, piled stacks, arranged very neatly. So, Ziraf did that work. It, the corn, all the corn, it has arranged the very neatly, piled them into a huge stacks. But all the corns, while she caught no glimpse of the trunk or tail end.
right? While she caught no glimpse of trunk or tail of the elephant. Ralph the rabbit had worked up a huge appetite by now. Appetite means feeling hungry, right? He told giraffe, tomorrow we will have a feast, means large meal. But I am afraid the elephant might try to steal our corn. He will regret it if he even tries to come near the field. Saying this, Giraffe went away, agreeing to meet Ralph the next morning for the feast. Right? So, next he said to the Giraffe that elephant will come, he may steal our corn. But the Giraffe said he will regret it. Regret means for children, feeling very bad or disappointed. Then Ralph called on the elephant and said, I have gathered all the cobs and we will have a feast tomorrow. I just hope Giraffe does not come around stealing our corn. We have worked so hard for it. Again here also same thing he said to the elephant. Giraffe will come and steal the corn. We have to be careful like this way he said to the elephant. She will regret it if she even tries to come near the field. Elephant also said the same thing. Said elephant swinging his trunk. Swinging his trunk, even the elephant said the same thing about the giraffe. Next, rabbit had decided that he would get up early morning and help himself to as much corn as possible. So, he decided to get up early in the morning and get corns as much as possible he can take. The elephant and the giraffe would just blame each other for the theft. Theft means? Yes, theft means steal away, right? They will be blaming each other for the theft. But Ralph overslept. He had become so tired going to and from to from elephant to from giraffe and from giraffe to elephant. He was very tired to going here, there, there and here. That he just could not wake up on time. Morning he couldn't wake up. When he reached the field, giraffe was already there. Ralph had to quickly think of another plan. He was very clever. He started to think another plan. So what he did here, we will come to know in our next class. So children, till here you have to read it. Okay. And prepare for the FA1 examination. Okay children, bye. Take care.